parents in tonight. I'm just going to go to the bathroom really quick. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. yeah, yeah. This next patron sees the pill drop in. Yes. He tries to play it cool. They just moved those two guys, just moved me to the surgery. Are you leaving right now? No, I'm going out for a smoke. It's uh, making it look like I'm doing something, not just ratting them out so they run. Okay. I'll be right outside. While he's out, we tell the guys to drug the drink again since this woman missed it the first time. Do it, do it. Ah, what are you doing? <laughs> guys, I didn't see that, did I? What? See what? You put something in that story. <laughs> That's a story. She's stunned. Will she blow the whistle? Hey, hey, there you are. The heck? Now Lauren's back. Go, go, go. Yeah, that's it. And all she can do is just watch. Oh, here it comes. That's when this man makes his move. Don't drink that. These two guys put something in my drink. I don't. Oh, yes. I was watching your little college drama. The tanning. Now that he's got the ball rolling, will she step up too? Did you guys see anything? I didn't see it. No? I don't know what they're talking about. I think you should just mind your own business, sir. My nephew's a state trooper. Oh, okay. So that's why I'm not letting these guys go in it. You want me to call 911? 911, what's your mercy? Uh, I'm at the Mason Jar in Mawa. Okay. And I just witnessed two gentlemen drug a woman's drink. But he doesn't stop there. Anthony Nagito heads over to the entrance, takes off his hoodie, and then to our surprise, ties up the exit. What's going on here? I'm John Kidionis with What Would You oh, Do? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Show me what you did over here. Boy, I'm not gonna let them leave. You I tied give them the... something to hand to the door, and I'm gonna <laughs> cover it with in front. That is amazing. This first pair has been listening in. I don't understand why he can get anything he wants. Because, sweetie, he's my real son. You're my foster kid, OK? So I can't spend all the money on you. I just can't do that. But I'm still part of the money. family. You're a foster kid. Technically, you're not a part of the family. I have to go to the bathroom. Is that OK? Once we send Emma away from the table, if we don't let her order everything she wants, we can buy you the iPad, OK? Finally. He has no problem telling Angela what he thinks, calmly and quietly. All right, buddy. Excuse me? I'm spending it on my son. Well, I do spend it on her. There's a certain amount of it. Huh? I don't have another job. This is how I make money. Really? Taking care of my family. Yes. That's reprehensible. The money that you are giving is there to take care of your foster child. It period. With that, they're up and out. We hustled to catch up with them. Sir? Hi, it's part of a TV show called What Would You Do? Well, I'm certainly glad that it's not true. Why is it important to speak up for a stranger? That would seem to be self-evident. We live in a civilized society where we have to look out for each other. Our family now settles in at the counter, but from her table, this customer has no problem paying close attention to what's happening. Okay, who's this for? Me, please. Savior. Can I have one of those, too? Oh, we've already been through this. You're my foster child. He's my real child. Does she want one, too, or? She wants one, but she can't have one right now. I keep telling her I only get a certain amount of money, and I'm not spending it all on her right now. And when Mom and Xavier step away... Don't order anything, OK? And don't touch a Sunday, OK? She calls the waitress over. Can I buy her an ice cream? You can do whatever you want. I get her whatever she wants. But... What do you want to get her? Whatever she wants. Please. She wants to get you an ice cream. She says she'll get you whatever you want. Did you want what she got? Yeah. Yeah, OK. Emma thanks her. Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. Can I give you a hug? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. And we say hello. Hi there. How are you? <laughs> I don't like this. <laughs> you were so kind to that little girl. <laughs> She's, I feel so bad. 
Someone would say, why are you helping a stranger? You don't know that child. She's a kid. I had foster kids growing up, you know, in my house. And, you did? Mm -hmm. My mom had two foster kids. There were four kids and two foster kids. And so you no know kid should be treated like that ever. Just choose something under $4, OK? Angela is at it again. But then why does he get to get it? And this father's face says it all. If you keep asking me, I'm going to put you back in the system, OK? He sits. He watches. He seems to struggle to hold back what he's thinking. You have a roof over your head. You should be happy about that. And finally, he can't hold back any longer. Can, can I buy her whatever she wants? You, or honey, you can order whatever you want. We're, we're actually on a budget. Yes, I got We it. have some money. I just. It doesn't matter. I'll pay for it. You know, you should. I don't I'm need you to get involved. I, I'm not getting involved. I just want to buy. Whatever you want, okay, honey? Order sure? whatever you want. Yes. Order whatever you want from me. I apologize. She's I'm just a foster to, child. I understand. It's absolutely okay. You don't need to tell her she's a foster. Child. It's okay. Get whatever you want, okay? Thank you. I got it. Angela leaves, and this generous man steps back up and offers even more. Go get yourself whatever you want, OK? Are you sure? Yes. Do not, um, do not listen to what she's telling me, OK? Get whatever you want. Thank you. If I can take you home with me, I will. Thank you. Thank you so much. And we've got to thank him, too, for much more than just the money. Hi there, sir. <laughs> oh, my God. You know what would you do? I've I'm sorry. seen you guys like a million times. <laughs> what were you thinking? I couldn't have her talking to her like that. That's, that's just not right. Oh, my God. Why are you so touched by this, honey? Didn't surprise you that he stepped in, huh? <laughs> what a wonderful example for your daughter. I would never want anybody to feel like that. You told her if I could take you home. I would. All kids should have a, a happy home and people that love them. Uh, you handed her a $50 bill. That was for her to get whatever she wanted. If I had a dollar in my pocket, that would have been what I, my last dollar, I would have given it to her. Hi, how are you? Table for two. Okay. When are we here? Oh, okay. As this man patiently waits to be seated, he notices he's not alone. Okay, sir. I can sit you now. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm waiting to put them in the back. I don't want them to bother you or anybody else. As he rises to meet his friend, you guys ready? I can seat you guys. He continues standing up for our Muslim couple. Ma'am. Well, they were here before us. We've been waiting longer. Is there a reason that you're not seating us? I mean, we all watch the news, and I just think, you know, you can make some people uncomfortable. Both men make it clear that it's Tracy who makes them uncomfortable. You're not going to treat them like everybody else. Well, no, sir, I am. I mean, it's no, not it's about you guys not at the all. The way you're saying. I think you're putting yourself in a very bad position. How so? Look, there's nothing wrong with them. They're human beings, just like us. Don't you watch the news, how dangerous it is? Come on, I think you're being ridiculous. You're really? Being totally ridiculous. I feel like I have to protect all of our, all of our customers. Hi, right, gentlemen. You were upset. Yes. Just, what were you thinking? I mean, I know what's going on in this country, and it doesn't have to be that way. Just treat people the way they should be treated until they prove otherwise. It's crazy. It just should not happen to people who aren't doing anything bad. Excuse me. Yeah. Um, we've been waiting for a little bit. Is there a reason we haven't been seated? Yeah, we're just waiting for one of the booths in the back. I don't want you guys to offend other people. What do you mean by offend? I mean, we all watch the news. It's just kind of uncomfortable. This is making me oh. uncomfortable. Yeah. Oh. See, you're making them uncomfortable. No, no, why don't no, you no. just... You all. Why don't you just order to go, and no, you guys no, can just take... You're, you're making... Let's just go. No, 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 you guys stay. We definitely want you guys as customers. No, I mean, we don't want to... No, I'm... No, no, no. I'm sorry that they've offended you. I'm sorry they offended y'all. No, you, you 
This customer walks in with her husband, who leaves her to get the table while he goes to the men's room. It's going to be two. Two? Okay. Would you like to wait while he finishes? No, no, find me. Okay. Excuse me, miss. Yes. We've been waiting for a while. Is there a reason why we haven't been seated? I just don't want you to offend all of our other customers or make them uncomfortable. You know, How would we do that? With the news and everything, it's just kind of, see, she's already uncomfortable. Yeah, no, I'm leaving no. because actually it asks your take on things. Like... She makes up her mind to leave. That is disgusting. What happens is you see a bunch of this in the news. And her husband follows without even asking why. These last customers are regulars looking to grab a quick bite. Hi, how are you? Three. Three? Awesome. Have you been here before? Yes. Oh, perfect, perfect. Excuse me, miss. Um, we've been waiting for a while and we haven't been seated. Oh, yeah. Um, we're waiting for, for another booth in the back. If you have a table, Well, no, no. You guys can sit wherever you want. It's just, um, we just don't want you to bother anybody else. I mean, you know what I mean. Uh, no, what does that mean? Let them have the table. Yeah, but you know, we feel like we feel more comfortable if you guys take the table. No, really. We'll sit down. No, 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 we'll, we'll just have them wait. Actually, if you want to order something to go, or... Megan Murray quickly turns the table on Tracy. I don't want them to. You don't want them to what? You're the one making people uncomfortable right now. So I'm trying to, to protect all, right, all of us. Time. I'm trying manager to make... Time. Manager! No, I don't. Manager. Can you guys get a manager, please? Enjoy your meal. Manager. No, no, and I'll let you enjoy you. your meal. This party of three is now a party of five, as they invite Teresa and Kesav to eat somewhere else. You guys go out like somewhere, somewhere else? else? Yeah. Yeah. But you yeah. watch the news. No. I don't understand. Before anyone leaves, we cut them off. Why it has hey guys, hi guys. Sorry. I'm John Quinones. Oh, wait, Jesus Christ. You've got to be kidding me, because I literally watch this show all the time. <laughs> What were you going to do? We were going to leave so a million different places to go eat. We could have gone somewhere else, and they would have came with us, because there's no way that was acceptable. You it's would have taken weird. the couple with you? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> These are tough times in this country. Yes. Yeah. How do we combat that? Kindness and empathy. Like, they're people. Like, I'm a person. We're being obviously given an opportunity to stand up for people like that, so we, we have to take that opportunity. Yeah. I want to give them a hug. Yeah, yeah me too. I feel terrible. Do they want to eat with us anyway? <laughs> <laughs>